Hi. Binford law is a very powerful tool used by auditors to identify potential anomalies and frauds. Today, we will see how we can use the Benford law in Power BI to analyze our data. Along with this video, you will be getting a link to download this particular report template and the Excel file. Let's see what the Excel file contains. The Excel file basically has three columns for your own internal references and the fourth column would be the value that you would want the Power BI to analyze for the Benford law. Let's go back to the Power BI report template. In this template, the second sheet would demonstrate the steps that you would have to take to ensure that the data that you are updating is linked to this visualization. Step-by-step -step instructions have been provided and also a YouTube video has been linked here. You can press control and click to see the, to, to see the step by step instructions on how to link your Excel file to this particular visualizations. The third tab contains an introduction to, to, the, to the Benford law. If you are, if you are, new, if, if you are new to Benford law, you can go through this video to understand more about Benford law and see how it would be useful for your analysis. Coming back to the data itself, Benford law basically analyzes the first digit, second digit, third digit and the first two digits to, to identify anomalies. Let's go to the first digit. As per the Benford law, the first digit is statistically supposed to appear a certain percentage of times. If the actual data is in variance to the Benford calculated statistical values, then it could potentially mean that there is an anomaly in the data or there is a fraud. Let's see how it works. In case of these, the first digit as two, as per Benford law, it is supposed to statistically appear for uh, appear 17.60 percentage, but the actual we are seeing in this particular data set is 24.27. So if I click on that particular number, on the right, you will see that the table is updated for those line items which starts with two. You can click on more options and export the data into Excel for further analysis. References of one, two, and three, which you have updated in the base Excel file has also been provided here, which would assist you for further analysis. You can click on here, press control click and all the filters that you have selected would be removed so that you can again go back and do the analysis. You can press on here to go back to the index and you can go to the second digit. You can also access the second, third digit and the first two digit on the right below. You can also adjust the zoom of the settings by using control scroll up scroll down or you can adjust it here let's see let's see the second digit example as per benford law the second digit let's say that the second digit 7 is supposed to appear 9 percentage of times but it is appearing 12.23 percentage if i again click on here the uh, the um, the uh, right hand side data would basically be updated and you will be able to analyze the data in Excel. Let's again go back to the first digit. The same logic appears, the same logic applies for the second, third and the first two digits where you can click on a particular number and you will be able to see the data that is updated. Let's say 24 is the data that starts with 24 will be there on the right which you can further analyze, which you can export and further analyze. If you have a Power BI online service, you can publish it there and you or the team will be able to analyze the, analyze the data better. This will help you uncover potential anomalies and frauds. Hope you, hope you would find this template useful. Thank you.